there was resistance. I don't ring the bell because it's happened to everybody. Okay, okay, well, 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 that's your story. So, so, so the Lord is saying, what are you paying? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? God is truly able to do whatever he called us to do because it's, in the, it's, it's actually him desiring to work in us to be able to do what he called us to do. So I want to encourage you this morning, no matter what, how crazy and how far-fetched the dream that God gave you, it's going to happen. If you attach your faith with uh, Pastor Keith had talked about earlier this morning, where's my notes? Um, about how we got to first be renewed in the spirit of our minds. Our minds don't want to believe. Our mind is constantly warring against us. The Bible talks about to be renewed in the spirit of our minds. And so the way we do that is with the word of God. We have to take the word of God because he said his word will not return to him void, but it will accomplish everything he sets out for it to do. So the more work we get filled up, the more faith comes. Because faith, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the more word, the, the more, the more word, the, 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 the more word, I'm gonna rewind. The more word we get, the more faith we get. So we gotta keep putting that word in us because what happens is once you begin to keep pouring it in and pouring it, what happens after you keep pouring something in a vessel? It overflows. And so when you when you push into me. You won't get word. When life situations come my way and it looks opposite of what I'm believing for, you want to get the word. Because the, out of the abundance, the mouth speaks. So when you put that word in you, John, it talks about the word uh, became flesh and it lived amongst us. And that was Jesus. Jesus is the word. So the more Christ-like we become, the more word we become, because he is the word, we will walk in victory, we can believe the impossible, we can just stand and, and, and even though it looks straight crazy, like this is not coming to pass. God, if God said it, he'll do it. And not only will he do it, but he's able to do it. We're talking about the creator of the universe. We're talking about somebody that made nothing out of something. We're talking about you and I, and we were here. If you really look at the, the, hum, the, the anatomy of the human body, it is a miracle. It is a straight miracle. I mean, you're, somebody's in health, you're in the health industry. It's a miraculous thing. The mind itself is powerful. It, 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 it confuses your mind when you think about how God crafted and created all of us. So if he could do that, if he could take the time to, to make sure that every fingerprint is different, if he could take the time to know the numbers that's on your hair, how much more can he do? How much more can he, I mean, honestly, there is nothing impossible for him. Nothing is too great for him. So I just encourage you this morning, y'all, no matter, take the limits off of God. Take the limits off of God. Walk in the path of what God has for you. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, but just keep looking forward. The Bible says, press to the, the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. That's the key. The mark of the high calling is in Christ Jesus. So the more you seek after him, the more you seek after the word, the more you get yourself filled up with the power and the anointing of the word, then it spills over into your life. And so when situations come your way, 
It doesn't move you like in the pink. The Bible talks about also, be not ye conformed with the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because when you look at the world and the circumstances that it gives you, it's like you're going down. That's what you think. I'm getting ready to go down. Or this thing is not happening. But I'm telling you, if you put on the lenses of faith and you calibrate your mind with that lens of faith, the, the faith is the impossible. It's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is, when you operate in faith, you are actually tapping into the supernatural, seeing things from a, from a spiritual standpoint and not from the natural eye. So I encourage you this morning, keep pressing in the word. Keep being filled in the word. Keep being filled, being filled, being filled, being filled in the word of God because the word of God is true. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is rich. The word of God actually is an answer to everything. Everything in this Bible. As a matter of fact, he said, he said this. He said, where is it? He said, this is basic instructions before leaving earth. But then Pastor Keith took it to another level and he said, this is basic instructions living on earth. And so I encourage you, even when you don't understand what's in this word, your spirit knows exactly how to digest it. Your spirit knows exactly what to do. Just like, for instance, we, we eat. She's in the health uh, industry. There are certain uh, minerals and vitamins that all of us need in our system. And we look at vegetables, and some of I love vegetables, but some, some people may not like it like me. But we look at vegetables, and we're like, this is nasty. But your body knows exactly what to do with that. Well, the word sometimes can be distasteful because we don't understand all that it's talking about. But the, the spirit of the man knows exactly how to digest it, to get it right to that mind and right to that spirit of your mind to make a change. And so what I'm encouraging, just get it in. Just get it in. Like, 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 what is pray though, I think it said. Just, just get it in there. But, but, wow, well, I'm going to make this not pray though. But anyway, <laughs> you want to get to the place where you are just looking at this word and you're just saying, okay, I know what this, this don't seem like it has nothing to do with me. But the Holy Spirit has a way of calling on that word. And before you know it, you'll be walking in the word. You'll be like, wait a minute, I didn't know I, I, didn't know I knew that scripture. Where'd that come from? Yeah. But it's, a, it's about getting that word in you and making sure that you just apply it, walk in it. All right? Glory to God. Man, I can't wait to see what's next.